Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. Uh, this is an explication request from a test taking weekend warrior. Uh, remember, the best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank or Kaplan Quick Sheets, I highly rec them, recommend them as a paid supplement. With my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, QBank's about 60 bucks and the Quick Sheets are about uh, $20. Uh, we'll help you with any questions. It's just easier if it's a Kaplan question, because like this test taker, just send me the QID. Otherwise, you have to cut and paste. But we'll help you on any uh, question you may have. Uh, this is QID 1375235. One of your existing cash account uh, customer opens a new margin account. So we'll find out whether new is meaningful or not. The initial activity in the account is the purchase of $12,000 of ABC and a short sale of $10,000 of XYZ. With Reg T at 50%, you should definitely know that Reg T is part of the Securities Act of 34 and the Federal Reserve Board says that you uh, what you initially have to be at risk for. And right now that's 50%. So what is the initial margin call? So margin call is what you need to get this done. So we're gonna need uh, of the $12,000, let's put that there. Well, let's get a bigger font. We're gonna need 50% of that. 50% uh, of that is $6,000. So, you know, if I'm the margin clerk, I say, okay, so if you want to buy $12,000 worth of ABC, I'm going to need $6,000 from you. If you want to do it on margin. And uh, it's the same 50% requirement if you go short. So the short is going to be 50% of that times 50%. And so on that part of the transaction, you're going to need another $5,000. And so you're going to need a total here of $11,000 to get this done. So let's see, boom, boom. Now I would warn you not to overdose on margin. Um, most of the test prep vendors go way, way overboard in margin. I'll put in the video description, my margin lecture. It's all you need. Uh, I'll also uh, put that in a pinned comment for you. And um, I'm also, uh, I've offered some, uh, courses, I'll put a link there, only because of the test prep vendors. There's only three or four, but boy, particularly like Pass Perfect has some hellacious margin questions. And if you'd like to join me for an hour on margin, you can certainly do so in uh, that class. That'll be, I think, mid-March, I think I'm going to do just, it's an hour in the evening on uh, margin. It's not a group tutoring, it's a class. So, all right. So let's see. Now, maybe you were struggling here with what does the setup look like afterwards? So Here's our long account, and this would be how it looks initially. It's called a mixed margin count. And so this would be what I call the setup. So almost always in a margin question, you want to be able to do a setup, right? So let me get a different color font here. And so on the long account, this is the classical margin equation long. We're going to have $12,000 in long market value. Uh, we're going to owe uh, 6000 So you're going to put up six. And the broker dealer is going to loan you six. And so that's called your debit register or your debit balance. And, you know, you definitely know the classical margin equation, which is long market value uh, minus, let's do a better job there, debit balance equals equity. And so on this side, boom, our equity, this is our initial setup long. I doubt you'd have to do a mark to market, you know, on a mixed margin account on your actual exam, but that's going to be our equity on the long side. That's the classic margin equation short. Now on the uh, short account, that's where a lot of people get hung up. I have an entire lecture just on short, but on the short side, you're going to have $15,000 in what we call your credit register, $10,000 from selling the stock you didn't own, plus the 5,000 that we made you put with it. And so that's going to be 15000 there. You owe securities presently valued at $10,000. So please note the second ledger line is what you owe. But in a short account, what you owe are securities. 
And that's our classical margin equation short. And so on this boom, uh, that's going to be over here. That's going to be 5,000 equity over there. By the way, remember that's the money you actually put up is what you're initially at risk for. So I um, don't know if you got bogged down or maybe you're trying to do more than the question asked. The answer here is $11,000. Uh, you should definitely know uh, it's 50% uh, here initially to get going. You should know that margin call, that initial margin call is T plus two plus two. So, you know, the regular rate settlement is between broker dealers, not customers. Customers get two additional days. So that ends up being T plus four. You should definitely know uh, minimum maintenance. Once we're underway for a long account is 25%. For a short account, 30%. Uh, I'd be uh, capable of protect, uh, being able to do market value at maintenance, which for the long account would be debit by 0.75. And in the short account, credit by uh, divided by 1.3. And uh, like I say, three or four. If you tell me you missed your mark on Series 7 because of margin, I'm going to say, eh, there were some other problems. Uh, but with that being said, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch, and yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard.